hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be going ahead with our series so till now what we have created is we just created this amazon login form and for this we had a page variation that we set to uh, as a default and so if you go here we have set the uh, default page variation and we have overrided the default theme okay and uh, in our vs code what we uh, did was uh, in the last video we just added some error information so that what is the error coming should be displayed to the user directly okay now what we would be uh, doing is uh, first we would be publishing uh, this and thereafter we would be creating a account contact and a corresponding user for that so that we could understand how things work so uh, for this we have to uh, go with creating uh, an account and associating that account as a partner account but before doing that first of the main important thing is go to the users and in here what you uh, need to do is like uh, see since I am uh, this system admin uh, so my role is not specified in here okay so you have to specify a role okay so uh, why this uh, role is necessary because whenever you are creating portal users uh, you are to specify with whom or which context this uh, user is being made okay so um, that's why you have to uh, create a role for uh, the system admin so that's why this is necessary uh, for as a role so I'm specifying the CEO roles and uh, that's it uh, now what we would be uh, going is going back to the sales console sales and in here what we would be doing is uh, we would be first uh, registering our account as a partner account okay so uh, we would be creating new uh, Okay, saving the information uh, so our account is created and now the need is to create a contact so I created this user and in my account uh, click here and uh, now see there is option of enable as partner okay uh, enable uh, click this and see once account is enabled as partner it appears in reports and list views that are filtered on the is partner field uh, we would be discussing this uh, laterly but for now we would be enabling this account as a partner account okay so see this is enabled as partner now the option is to disable as partner so go to the first user and create a user of this enable customer user because uh, we want uh, customers uh, of this so what we would be doing is uh, this would redirect us to create a user so uh, uh, enter the email uh, that you want to associate with this user and the profile would be customer community login and the customer community login user uh, arrest keep everything is same and that's it now uh, you would uh, see that uh, okay now this error is coming see to create or update users for this profile what we have to do is we have to set up uh, the self registration and where is that see this is given a path setup digital experience and settings so uh, what we would be going is uh, in the uh, digital experience and uh, uh, settings it is saying that uh, what it is saying that see enable partner users let customers access allow customers to change the case status 
and see allow using standard external profiles to register so we have to tick this uh, so this is created save this go back to users uh, so we have to uh, go again and create a user so guys our user is being created and what you uh, what needs to be done now is uh, at your mail that you have provided uh, you have uh, got a link that is to uh, log into uh, the community and create a password for there okay so uh, go there and create a password that is a self registration site so, uh, so now log into experience as a user guys so see now there is another problem look like this portal user is not a member of any experience so how to create a how to go to uh, the uh, administration section and we have to add this user as a member okay so in the member section in the uh, customer profiles customer community uh, login user and uh, customer community user uh, we could have this profile as well so i am setting the these two profiles saving this and okay uh, settings are saved and now log into experience as a user so now in our community this user has got an access okay so see user uh, is this so uh, now guys what you could do is uh, you could test uh, the user that you created uh, you could have the username uh, the email that we created and the password and that uh, we uh, got uh, from our community uh, at our mailbox so you could uh, test this out and this uh, it's completely working so uh, this was the entire process that how you could uh, create a user for this by why I uh, told you this because this is very important as per when you are creating the test classes now so maximum of the times there exists uh, this problem that uh, portal account owner doesn't have a role or uh, there are uh, various problems like uh, the user uh, is not a member of that uh, community or uh, things like that so for that we should have a clarity that what goes on what gets created and what we need to get created uh, before uh, our portal user gets created okay so all these users these are uh, referred to as your portal users and in the next video what we would be doing is uh, we would be uh, now creating our uh, community page types for uh, different different uh, types of things as per the Amazon website. So we would be meeting in the next video. Thanks for watching.